जय हिंद आई एम करल करुणा दत्ता फ्रॉम स्लीप हेल्थ क्लिनिक आर्मी हॉस्पिटल आर एंड आर एंड वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट वॉट आर द वेरियस थिंग्स बाय विच यू कैन कम टू नो इफ यू आर स्लीपिंग वेल सो इन द नेक्स्ट फ्यू मिनट्स लेट्स डिस्कस इफ यू आर स्लीपिंग वेल एंड इफ यू आर हाउ डू यू कम टू नो दैट यू आर नॉट स्लीपिंग वेल now most of us don't understand that we are not sleeping well or we don't understand if there is a problem which we can correct right away and that's why i'm going to take these few minutes just to explain briefly if you are sleeping well how can you come to know so the first and foremost is that let's say a common example that you sleep around 10 10:30 and you get up around 6 6:30 Now this is a common example but most of us don't give ourselves that time to sleep. Now if you're not giving that time to sleep then it's called as sleep deprivation and you can see the effects of that you know accumulate over a period of time and you will feel sleepy the next day. In fact some of us also do not follow it every day they are not regular and what happens is that you're just doing it probably on the weekends and on, on weekdays you are actually deprived so one should be careful about that. But let's assume that the duration is good, your timing is good and you're sleeping well on time. Then what else can be the problem? So this diagram that you're seeing in front of you, the first condition which can happen is that you have slept for the right amount of time, but or you've given yourself the right amount of time, you've given that opportunity to sleep for the right amount of time. You're lying in the bed to sleep, but you're not able to sleep initially. You're trying to sleep but you're not able to sleep you're tossing and turning and let's say that duration is around more than 30 minutes there is a problem the second can be that initially you don't have a problem but you wake up again and again at night and now that total duration is around 30 minutes that's a problem again and third may be that initially also you're having time you're taking that time and you're also taking time in between during the night when you're waking up again and again and the total amount now is around 30 minutes all these three conditions are commonly you know seen in our general population and we don't understand the implications because we just think that it is a part of growing no if if you are taking that long there is a problem please think about it take care of it and we are going to talk about it how you can the fourth can be that you've slept the right amount but now when you get up in the morning you're not feeling fresh you're not alert this again is a problem because this hints that the quality is not good so what can be the problem in sleep what are the various dimensions it can be timing it can be duration a problem can be in the duration that you're taking the time that you're taking it can be the regularity that you're not sleeping at the right time at the same time every day so regularity can be a problem can be a quality issue where either you're snoring or you're moving too much or you're not basically getting that deep sleep which is restorative so quality is a problem it can also be an efficiency problem that it is fragmented it is not consolidated the efficiency of the sleep is always when it's really consolidated this is it and then it can be you know that you are having a problem that there is an alertness problem because of all these features and now you're not feeling fresh in the morning so it can be one of the two or it can be combination which one has to find out so considering all these dimensions we should look into our sleep by a simple formula which i've just shown you 